baby, you my last life, you know we gotta hang tight. Right. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm having a face off between two different products that I use um, kind of interchangeably. They're two great, fantastic products, and they're both from Shea Moisture. So we're gonna jump into it. I'm going to be frank and upfront with you guys. Like, I definitely have a favorite out of these two. So I'm a little biased, but I have tried both of these products, like I said, interchangeably. So I've been using these products for um, at least a good, like, five years I've been using these products so I'm definitely like knowledgeable like you know what I'm saying like I've definitely used these products like a lot so I know kind of how to use them and I'm going to explain why I think one is better for a certain hair type more so than the other so I'm definitely gonna dive into it so you know it's not just because I like one more than the other although I do so we're going to compare the curl enhancing smoothie from Shea Moisture to the coconut and hibiscus, which is both from the same line, the coconut and hibiscus line, um, and the curl and style milk. Now my bottle is a little beat up. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've had it for a little bit. It's traveled with me, so um, it got a little beat up in the in the shuffle. But these are both from the same line, the coconut and hibiscus. I've tried numerous lines from Shea Moisture. I tried the one with the um, for like heat damage. Um, that has like the plantain in it. Uh, I've tried, I think I've tried another one, I don't really remember, but I've definitely tried a lot of different products from them, especially like their soap, their African black soap. I've tried like a lot of different things from Shea Moisture, but for some reason I really like this line the best, the coconut hibiscus. Why? Because it is, in my opinion, the most moisturizing of the rest of the lines. I like the fact that my hair feels very moisturized after using these products. So they definitely don't skip out in the moisture. And if you know anything about Shea Moisture, like everything that they put inside their products is very good for you. There is no, actually I'll read it off here. There is no sulfates, no parabens, no phthalates, no paraffin, no propylene glycol, no mineral oil, synthetic fragrance, synthetic color, no DEA, and of course no animal testing. So um, it's a really great, honest company. I really do like the company. Now, I feel like for a girl that has curly hair like myself, as you can see, my curly hair, <laughs> um, it is very dry and it's very... Um, it's pretty manageable, but it's just really dry. And when it gets dry, it gets it's really prone to breakage and stuff like that. So it's very um, annoying, <laughs> annoying. Um, but for my hair type, which is, I'm not sure what kind of curl pattern I am. I know that there's like C's and like three something and two something. I'm not really familiar with all of that, but I do have pretty curly hair. Um, it only turns this way. Uh, when I kind of like put it in a bun or put it in braids and stuff and it kind of stretches out the curls Which is kind of what I like sometimes um, Just because it's a little easier to manage than my hair being curly, um, but I don't have like spirally spirally curls So yeah, and my hair is not thick. I don't have thick hair. I wouldn't say I have thin hair either So I'm just kind of in the middle somewhere So just the background of my hair. I wish I had my hair my curl type or my curl pattern. I don't um, but it's um, medium, it's not thin, it's not thick, and it's uh, I have a lot, and it definitely tends to get frizzy, and it's definitely dry. So I like this one, personally my favorite, um, which is the Style Milk, and it says moisturize and curl to fine, which is definitely very true, and it is for thick and curly hair. Now, I don't have thick hair, so initially when I got this, I'm like, well, hopefully this will work for me, you know, I don't have thick hair, but I'm like, it's a cream, usually anything that's lightweight cream does really well for me, and this does really well for me, um, whether it is dry, whether it is wet, regardless of how I use this product, it works for me, like, exceptionally well. Um, so I really enjoy using this product. Now, where this differs, these differ here. Um, this also says that the smoothie, the curl enhancing smoothie, also says that it's for thick and curly hair, anti-frizz, moisture, and shine, which, frizz, moisture, and shine. Oh, well then these are two different things then. This one says moisturize and curl. I didn't even read it. <laughs> so the milk is for moisturize and curl define, and this is for anti-frizz, moisture, and shine. Now, 
they pretty much both do the same thing, except there's two different textures. This is more of a milky lotion. This is more like a thick custard. That's the only thing that kind of makes this product more difficult to use than this product. This product is fairly easy. How I like to use it, sometimes if my hair is dry, um, I do put it in when it's on dry hair, if I feel like my hair is a little dry. But typically how I use the curling milk is I wet my hair a little bit. Um, if I'm trying to style it for the day or for work or whatever, I tend to wet it just a little bit and I put this in to kind of like help with humidity and like um, just to relieve some of the dryness my hair tends to have. So that's how I use this. It's very simple, very easy. With this product, however, um, it's a little bit more tricky. This, you cannot, and I repeat, you cannot put this product in dry hair. I already tried it so many times. Like I've said, I had this product for years. It just did not work whatsoever. So you cannot put it into dry hair. Your hair has to be wet. And when I say wet, I mean like straight out the shower wet, uh, fresh out of conditioning kind of wet. And you need to put this product in there. Mind you, it's a thick, it's, it's pretty thick. It's like a thick, oh, there's hair in there. That's ugly. But it's like a thick... See what I'm saying? Like it's like a, it's, it is like a smoothie. It is like a smoothie. That's what it's called, a smoothie. It's like a thick pudding type of thing, a very thick pudding. So it's, um, it's just a different texture and you have to do it when your hair is wet. When you put it in as your hair is wet, um, you just never touch it, you know, curly hair. You kind of don't want to touch it while it's drying anyway because then it makes frizz and it's frustrating. Um, so when you put this in where your hair is wet, you kind of just let it air dry. And the thing I do like about this product is that it helps to actually curl your hair. If you feel like you're struggling with actually having hair that's like kind of like coily and like curly, like when it used to be before you maybe like straightened it a lot or processed it with color, different things that like change your curl pattern. But if you want your hair to kind of have like that most curly, curly, curly coil as possible, this definitely helps promote that, which is very different from the milk. I have to say that this definitely like promotes more of like a curling effect at least on my hair my hair is not really coily like that and when I put this product in when it's wet and then it starts to dry I get more of like that fro licious curl situation going on so I really do like this but this one's definitely more tricky product to use compared to the styling milk but um, once your hair dries you get left with it is definitely what it says um, anti frizz moisture and shine but for the frizz factor I don't want to like preach about it because curly hair tends to get frizzy anyway um, I mean I live in the city and my hair still gets frizzy so and we're not really a humid climate so it, it curly hair we already know the problem is is frizz we just kind of can't really control it a little bit of frizz is cute anyway in my opinion just saying i do like this but compared to this which one's easier this one and i'm lazy for the most part so when i'm like doing my morning routine or going to work or whatever it, like this is just so much simpler for me but this one is like the real deal too if you are okay with making sure this only goes into wet hair and um you know that's something that you do after maybe you condition or whatever you do this let it dry and let it just be really froed up um usually when i do use this just to backtrack and it turns into a fro i do tend to like braid it so then my hair kind of like loses some of that curl because I don't know for me like when it's too coily like it just doesn't look right on me so I like to stretch out the curls a little bit just a little bit um, using this but I honestly think they're both great products and they're both around the same price um, usually I get it for about $12 $13 um, at Target so it's roughly around the same price um, and they run promotions very frequently like buy one get one half off so you know it kind of helps since these products are definitely not cheap um, but you get more, do you get more of anything? Yeah, you definitely get more smoothie. There's 12 ounces in the smoothie and there's eight ounces in the styling milk. But regardless, I feel like you get um, a good amount of product for what you're paying for. So that's, um, that's pretty nice. But like I said, it is a little bit pricey, but us curly hair girls, if we're really trying to take care of our fro and our hair texture, you're gonna have to spend money. I know that, <laughs> you guys know that. So it's just like, it just is what it is. But yeah, I really like the coconut hibiscus line, like I said. Um, they're both great products. That's the only difference is how you apply them. Um, that's pretty much what's the difference between these two products. So, oh, let me explain to you how I use them interchangeably. Now, 
once I come out the shower, if I feel like my hair needs a little extra moisture, then I put this on, let it dry, and whatever. I either braid it or I don't braid it, put it in a bun, pineapple, it, whatever. And then after like you know you have the second day hair third day hair whatever that's when this comes to play where i kind of wet my hair a little bit um because that's like the way to kind of style curly hair is to kind of wet it not like sopping wet but just like you know wet your hands run it through so it could like be a good base for the the cream instead of just applying it to dry hair so that's where the styling milk comes in because then for day like three hair day four hair um, I kind of just use that as some extra moisture because this is like a no-no on dry hair. I'm telling you, like a no-no. It will not look cute, I'm telling you. Um, so that's kind of how I use them interchangeably. So, thank you guys for watching. And yeah, I will be posting more frequently, like I said. I feel like I say that in every video. But uh, yeah, I definitely will be posting. Definitely check out the Shea Moisture Curl and Hibiscus line. Uh, you will not be disappointed. You can definitely check out their other lines too. They have like tons of stuff now. They have makeup too. I haven't got my hands on the makeup yet. I really want to, but haven't yet. Um, but I definitely will try to. If you haven't subscribed to my video, I don't really know what you're doing, but you should just go click that red button right there. <laughs> and support me and Kenny Omega. You guys have uh, peeped the shirt. Yeah, he's, he's, he's the greatest. And he's my boyfriend. He just doesn't know it yet. Um, anyway, so yeah, comment, like, subscribe, um, drop your gamer tags. Like I said, I've been playing Call of Duty very frequently um, while I have the time before school starts up again and kind of like takes all my time away. Um, let's play Call of Duty. Uh, I have GTA as well. Um, Left 4 Dead, whatever you guys are into. Definitely drop your gamer tags. I am gaming a lot right now. So, um, well, I always game a lot, but. Definitely drop a gamer tags. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.